Hi there, we are talking about the role of documentation in quality assurance. First, we are going to understand the meaning of quality and the quality assurance. Quality means to achieve excellence and the quality assurance in the pharmaceutical field is dealing with making sure that the final product produced in a pharmaceutical batch is meeting specific quality standards. Also, assuring that the process is efficient and going according to standards. Documentation is written records and reports that contain the information about everything from A to Z. Since the beginning of raw material, delivering and receiving, running and quality tests, starting the batch process, packaging and storing, all of these steps should be documented in details. One of the most important factors for documentation is removing the human errors and allows better troubleshooting and adulteration tracking down patch defect. It may help managing problem ongoing without having to destroy the patch. For every step in manufacturing, there are several written documents whether they were readily filled or are to be filled by the person of authority in the chain of custody. Signed documents are needed for several regulatory checks and revising checkings on the process. Documents are divided into three main types. The first type is specification documents, such as for bulk raw materials. These documents contain the name of material, the features, purity status, storage, physical and chemical characters, weight and date of release and expiration. The second type is procedure documents. These documents illustrate every step in the process. The third and last type is records and reports. Reports and records contain the data collected during every step in manufacturing process. They are kept for after the expiration date by two to five years, so they can be referred to in case of errors or adulteration. One application of documentation in quality control is applying it for the process analysis technology or PAT system for short. PAT system is a frame of network set by the United States Food Admin Administration FDA. It is well defined a documented design for a process mechanisms to analyze, control and qualify my pharmaceutical manufacturing processes. PAT uses a set of measurements labeled as critical process parameters. It uses three main tools that lead finally to the achievement of quality. First, multivariable data analysis. Second, process analytical chemistry. Third, continuous improvement and update for paper system and software. Using pad documentations and implementations leads to reduce production cycling time, preventing batches rejection, improve energy and material use, improve the staff and process. Now, quality management systems have a specific documentation chain or pyramid according to the ISO 9001 standard. For starter and the pyramid top, we see there is a quality manual. Manual varies according to the organization and the personnel. Several international companies have different sets of manuals according to the region. The manual should include title and content, quality policy and description of business processes, definition of personal responsibilities, references and relevant documents. The second component is the quality policy. Quality policy defines the quality objectives which the company strives to achieve. Third and median component is the quality procedure. Quality procedure shows different formats and structures for the procedure of a certain process within the company. Quality procedure usually contains the following elements. 1. Title that identifies the procedure. 2. Purpose describing the reason behind the procedure. 3. Scope to explain the aspect and dimensions. 4. Responsibilities of the authorities.
5. Records of the results 6. Documents of control to identify any deviations from the yield 7. Description of activities 8. May include appendices The fourth and last component is work instructions that are given to the working staff it may be given within the manual or an individual upon the starting of the process. It describes the tool, procedures, safety measures and the required accuracy.